Hey guys, so I was tagged in the original Skyrim book tag. I played Skyrim like three times and I was really excited to do this tag. I want to give it my best effort. So I went and I wanted to buy a helmet. I wanted the Skyrim helmet with the horns, you know, and um, what really wanted to do it all out. But they're expensive. They're really, really expensive. Um, and so I did, you know what? I might have something. Okay, so I do not have a helmet that will work, but I had some stand-ins. So let's see how this goes with these alternate helmets. So here we go, first one. The, the Dragonborn can absorb souls, breathe fire, soothe wild beasts, and so much more. What character do you think would be capable of anything? Well, I will go with Hadrian Marlowe. He's also Hadrian the Deathless, Hadrian the Half-Mortal, um, did all kinds of crazy stuff, and he's going to live to be like a thousand years old. So, uh, Hadrian, for sure. Two, we have Lydia is sworn to carry your burdens. What is the most annoying side character in a book? For me, it's Karis from Lightbringer. Book one, she was okay. But by the end of the series, I actually hated her for the way that she treated the people around her, the way she was so self-absorbed, and I just did not enjoy the scenes that Karis was in, even though I wanted to like her. She was the kind of character where you wanted to like her, but she annoyed me with the way that she behaved around things. All right. Did someone steal your sweet roll? What is the most delectable food from a book that you would like to eat? For me, I would say it would be the Spice Melange from Dune. Um, as you hear about it, turns your eyes completely blue. Uh, really neat. Um, as I was thinking about food, pretty much everything else is normal. But you can't get the spice from anywhere other than Arrakis. So Spice Melange would probably be the one that I go with here. The... Um, it would be really neat to get the premonition that he gets, uh, that Paul gets. And so, yeah, I'm going to go with the spice. So this is not a helmet. I actually just use it when I go fishing so I don't get a sunburn on my face. Okay, that's not working as well as I thought it would. All right, so, took an arrow to the knee. Which character would you think would be the most likely to get injured? For me, I would say that'd be Thomas Sinlin from Sinlin Ascends. Um, I think he gets injured on every level of the tower he ascends to. Um, I don't think he goes through any level without getting hurt in some way. So definitely it would be Thomas Sinlin from Sinlin Ascends. Okay, so now I'm officially out of helmets, so we're going to finish with this one. Okay, Adra versus Daedra. What is the most intriguing um, and interesting force of good or evil or otherworldly source of power that you have found in a book? Um, for me, I just got done reading uh, most of the Narnia series except for The Last Battle, and Aslan is really, really interesting. The way that they used him as an allegory for Christ and what he's able to do really like Aslan as a character, thought he was super, super awesome. So Tamriel is full of double crossers. Who is your most favorite deceitful or suspicious character? For me, he's a funny dude and he's Ahaz from the Another Fine Myth group of stories, like the myth stories. Um, he is a pervert or pervect from um, the, the planet or dimension Perv. And he is stuck here, he used to be a wizard, and because of a joke played on him, he can no longer perform magic until uh, a thousand years. So he's stuck for a thousand years without magic, and he basically is just teaching our young human friend, Skeeve, how to be a magician. All right, next we have The Lusty Argonian Maid is the hottest book ever written. What is your favorite romance in a book? For me, it's 112263's Jake and Sadie. Their relationship seemed so genuine. There were small moments 
where it felt like you really knew these characters, where they spent a lot of time together trying to find really interesting things, and then you were really in, in involved in it. You rooted for them. There were things that happened um, in Sadie's past that you were, you know, trying to get Jake to care about her more. Um, he was so in, in depth in his um, trying to stop the assassination of John Kennedy. And it just really was interesting to see how their relationship was built. While he was not supposed to get to attach to anybody, he got attached to Sadie, and you could tell it was a connection that spanned time jumps. So it was really, really cool. Uh, this one was outside. It's a little wet. So I'm going to change. Uh, putting this helmet back on. Okay. Um, Stealth Archer is the obvious and most practical character build. What type of character do you think is the most useful and give some examples? So for me, my favorite type of character, I don't know if it's the most useful, but I'm going with... Perrin, the bearded axe wielder, right? Like uh, Perrin, you've got, um, I don't know if he has a beard, but John from uh, the Inglori, not, not Inglori's Bastards, the uh, Liza La Clamora, the, the, the Bastard series, Gentleman Bastards. Um, and, and then our, our buddy Gimli from Lord of the Rings. There's a bunch of other ones that, you know, just that steady background side guy sometimes main guy but for Perrin his best book was book four when he is defending the town of the two rivers and he just shines in this book this is Perrin's book there's a lot of other things that happens but man you fall in love with Perrin here in a way you never did before Perrin is amazing in the shadow rising okay so there's more to the world than just humans in the world of Skyrim. You have elves, you have Khajiit, you have Argonians, you have orcs, you have all these other characters. What is your favorite sci-fi or fantasy race in a book? So I was going to pick the Sea Elson, but I've already done um, the Empire of Silence. So I'm going to, that is technically my most, but I'm going to go with the Buggers from Ender's Game. Um, when you read the whole book, you learn so much more about the buggers. You learn about who the buggers are, the way they interact. They have some really interesting ways they talk to one another. And that really has created the way that we deal with things in our world. So really, really cool to meet and see the buggers throughout the whole series. I'm going regular now. All right, so in Skyrim, glitches are just something you got to deal with. You have dragons freaking out in midair. You've got giants sending you sky high. You have, um, you know, getting stuck in bushes. All kinds of crazy stuff that happens in Skyrim. You, you never know. Sometimes you can't, you have to go back to an old save because Skyrim just, just gives it to you hard. So um, what is... A surprising or funny, unexpected thing that I found in a book. For me, really, it starts in Warbreaker. We meet a talking sword. This talking sword is awesome. His name is Nightblood, and he wants to vanquish evil. And he comes in, he's a member of the Cosmere, so you're going to see him again. He's not just in Warbreaker. And because you see him again, there's a part in another book that I'm not going to tell you what book it is. You actually go... Yes! Um, and so, Nightblood is the most interesting thing I found in a book. So, that's what I've got currently. Um, I love this game. I, I'm so thankful Dini tagged me in this tag. Um, Skyrim, I probably paid through three, maybe four times. Really tried, even tried to do a complete on it. Like, complete every mission on the map. Uh, never got around to doing it. I gave the kids the Xbox, and I thought about buying it on PC. It's still $50. It's that good of a game. If you've never played it before, pick it up. And I'd love to talk to you about it. Um, this is such a great game. Like, you have no idea how awesome this game is. I wish I had it on PC because I'd be playing it all the time. So I'm going to tag a couple people. Those people are the Codex Cantina, um, Crypto and Una, if they both kind of want to do it together. I also want to tag the Nerdy Narrative. I'm pretty sure she plays video games. 
And that's all the people I can currently think of that play games right now, but I'm really excited. And if, and if there's anybody that I left out that you haven't really, I ha we haven't talked about video games, but you're a big gamer, please, please, I, I would love to hear your opinions on this one. Um, it is it's a fun tag, really, to jump in, grab a bunch of books, and think of these characters. Um, think of characters that would do well in the Skyrim universe in Tamriel itself. So I'm excited for you guys to do this tag. If you can, uh, subscribe to the channel. I will be goofy and do stupid stuff like this more. So uh, <laughs> I actually had a lot of fun with it, I, you know, um, except for wearing the wet helmet. Um, I don't know why he left that outside. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.